Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew here from TheRightTrader.com. Today I'm going to make a quick video on uh, the best websites to chart your stocks and to do some technical analysis. Um, and I'm just going to go in order of um, worst to best. And I mean, none of these are bad per se, but I'm just going to go to the uh, from the ones that I use the, the least to the ones that I use the most and that are sort of my favorite websites to, uh, you know, to um, do my technical analysis on. And... Um, yeah, uh, hopefully you find this helpful if you're a beginner and if you already are, you know, trading and maybe you just want to see what I use, uh, this, then this is also perfect for you. So first off, obviously you guys probably know this already, but uh, Google uh, Finance is uh, pretty useful. You know, it's, it's just good to get a quick idea of what's going on. It's super basic. Um, and I, I never really actually use the, the actual like Google Finance page. Um, I guess you can try that out, but uh, it seems pretty basic to me, which is fine. You know, I mainly just use this one sometimes on my phone and stuff just to, to look at usually the long term view. If I want to get a quick uh, view of what's going on, just kind of browse through and see, OK, the general direction of the stock and stuff, uh, which is good because, you know, some of these um, charting websites are messy. So definitely this one is always a good one to check out. Um, and like I said, I just kind of use it just to browse through real fast. OK, see what's going on with the stock, right? Uh, next up is TradingView. So you guys probably have seen this one before. It's a really popular one. It is actually a great platform. And the upsides of, of TradingView is that um, they have just a ton of anything you could want, right? They have uh, trend lines, text on your chart, um, a bunch of nitty-gritty nitty stuff like uh, uh, risk-reward stuff and um, some weird patterns and stuff that you can put on your, your chart. They, they have like everything you could ask for, right? Whoa, just <laughs> didn't do that on purpose. Um, yeah, they and they have a, also a lot of indicators. I think you're limited to three now, which is a little bit worse than before. Before you could have 10. Now, if you're uh, for the free version of, of TradingView, you can only put three indicators on. And uh, so that's a little bit limiting, of course. But, you know, I mean, it, it gets a, the job done. And what's good with TradingView is um, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, you can actually... Um, over here in the public li library, if I'm not mistaken, uh, you can actually put indicators that are created by uh, community members, right? So these are indicators that are pretty much, uh, presumably, you can only find on TradingView, right? And uh, so I guess you can find some pretty unique stuff. I, I had already went through some of these and uh, and checked some out. So yeah, you can, you can dig through that and see if you find anything interesting. But that's definitely a cool feature of it. And... Um, as far as uh, are these live charts, I think trading view charts are actually live. I might be mistaken on that, but a lot of these these uh, stock charting websites that I'm going to show you are not uh, live, especially on longer time frames, maybe on the daily. But it doesn't even really matter because honestly, uh, you, you should probably be charting at the end of the day uh, when the markets are closed and already have all your positions mapped out um, and sorry, like levels that are important uh, mapped out the day before. So, so you know what's going on, right? Not like live when the market is, is ongoing, right? But obviously there's a use for, for daily charts and stuff. Um, and I'll show you which one is the best for that. But yeah, uh, TradingView, check this one out. It's a great one to, to use. I use this one regularly. Um, the only downside to, to TradingView, sorry about that. The only downside to TradingView is uh, it does get a little bit messy, unfortunately. And, um, and you know, th there's, a, there's a lot that, that goes on, on on the website, which is it just a little bit, um, yeah, it creates a little, a little bit of a messy environment, right? And just just the colors and everything are, are not my favorite um, because it can get a bit confusing, right, when you're drawing stuff all over the place. So that's the only real downside to TradingView, in my opinion, right? Uh, otherwise, fin, Finviz, um, this website is actually a, a stock uh, screener website. So you can like type in stocks and, and get a bunch of information on the stocks. Um, so it's really useful for that. But the, the reason why I use this as a charting website is if, um, if you put in um, any stock, you'll get actually a, a automatic um, little technical analysis, if you will, um, directly on the, the chart, right? So it'll give you some indicators right away. Uh, some moving averages like the 50-day, 200-day, 20-day. So that's good. Um, just a nice clean view of that. 
of what's been going on recently. And then it'll also automatically um, draw some like important support or resistance level. And also if there's a specific pattern that the stock is in, um, and is following it also let you know like okay here it's in a channel right you can see that over here um, so that's really good and usually it'll help you uh, avoid missing on maybe something that you haven't seen yourself right an important pattern that's been in the making for example just typed in Tesla you guys see notifies us of a double top here which isn't good and then this, this downtrend that was broken so uh, yeah it lets you catch some uh, some stuff and obviously you don't just want to use this right but it, it gives you an idea just to make sure that you haven't missed anything and I'm just giving, going to throw in some examples just to see how useful this is because it really, you know, it's nice to have something like this where uh, you don't really have to think too much and get a general idea of what's um, what's been happening with the stock, right? So definitely check this one out and uh, I, I would recommend um, probably using this all every time you trade, right? That's what I used to do when I was a, a more active trader is um, is I would just go and, and check this out at least once before making my trades just to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. Uh, second on my list so this is um basically one of my favorites here yahoo finance obviously really popular as well great for having a bunch of information but their charts are um very useful too unfortunately uh they they made an update and really recently and it um it unfortunately downgraded the the service a bit in my opinion and made the charts a little bit more confusing and worse and i think trading view might have done the same so you got to be careful with these um, these charting websites. They they do update their stuff, and sometimes it's uh, uh sometimes it's for the worst. But at least um, I used to use Yahoo Finance as a way to get a. It was a really clean um, looking chart before, and it was just really easy to sort of just. And it still is. I mean, it still is is great. But you can uh, quickly put in some indicators, and um, I don't think you're limited with the moving averages and stuff. So. You guys can put moving averages, RSI, um, really easily, and Bollinger Bands, I already have those on, uh, MACD, stuff like that. And uh, they're actually sort of making this into a more powerful uh, trading, uh, charting um, website, I guess. Their, their charts are becoming more uh, detailed, right? You can put more indicators. There wasn't all this stuff before, but honestly... Um, I, I don't even know if that's a good thing. I mean, I, I think you're not limited, which is good. So if you want to put, put a bunch of stuff on, uh, you can compared to the other website. But it makes it a little bit messy. And I used to use it before just as a really easy way to, to see as well what was going on with the stock. And um, and it, it's a little bit less um, clear now. But I mean, it's still it's still really nice to, to just be able to see, right, in, in um, just really fast. Like, you guys can see... Um, Everything is still pretty clean. It just like some stuff is a little bit more confusing than before, but um, I don't know. I might just be complaining. Now I think you can draw draw some some trend lines on it as well. But basically, let me refresh this actually because I feel like I'm making a bit of a mess. Um, basically, it's still a really solid platform to you know quickly uh, put on like the main indicators. I would say and your main moving averages. And and just get a get an idea, right? You can go a couple years back and see really what's going on with the stock. Okay, here we can see the MACD is moving down, uh, the RSI is moving down all, as well. And yeah, just get a quick idea of what's going on, right? Super clean um, and neat still. Um, just a little bit worse than before, in my opinion. But I think they're actually going to try. Um, it, it looks like they're going to try making this into a pretty powerful charting platform, which is great, you know. And and I think. Um, I think they'll manage to, you know, it's, it's, it's still looking pretty good. And um, yeah, keep an eye out for this one. Keep an eye out for updates on this one. Um, still a really, really solid, probably the most, one of the most commonly used uh, charting platforms out there. Finally, um, my favorite one, and I think this is a, a favorite for a lot of people, is uh, StockCharts.com. Um, and like I said, most of these are free, right? Uh, tra Let me just go back real fast. Uh, TradingView is becoming a little bit of hassle. Um, they want you to sign up and stuff now, but uh, it's still free. Uh, TradingView is is uh, free, like I said. Um, if you want some extra features and, and you know be able to put more stuff on your charts, um, I think it costs a bit. Uh, Finviz, you can't really modify the chart at all unless you're a paying customer. Uh, Yo Finance is free as, our, as, as, I, as, as far as I'm concerned. And Google fi Finance, obviously, as well. Uh, Stock Charts is free as well. 
Um, they're just also a bit limiting in the features that you have, but it gets the job done. And this is really a an amazing trading plat uh, trading charting platform just because of its simplicity, you know. And it's simple, but but it has everything you need. Um, really quick and easy to draw some trend lines. Neat charts, you know, which is really good. It's not a mess, and I think this is why a lot of people uh, love StockCharts.com is is because it's really um, so clean, so neat. You know, it, it never fails you. And what's good with these guys is they haven't changed one bit. They're still um, looking the exact same as they were uh, as they were a couple years ago. So um, it's it's good to see something that you know if it's not uh, broken, don't fix it, right? And um, easy to see the price levels. Uh, you see the moving over here. If you want to get some details on the highs and lows of the day, really quickly, you can um, put some text on your charts. You can do that as well. So, I mean, th these guys have uh, a lot of stuff, right? My, maybe not the most detailed, at least in the free version, but you, they got all the basics down and really everything you need, right? In a, in a really clean and simple way. And the only real downside to uh, to stockcharts.com is, and by the way, I'm, I'm not sponsored by any of these guys, uh, is I think you're limited to only three um, overlays and three indicators, okay? Which honestly is is more than uh than enough. You really don't need more than these. But um yeah, this is you're limited to three on each of these. And like I said, um, you really, in my opinion at least, uh, can get by with with this. It's uh, maybe you'll have to to change it a bit, but um, and do a couple different tries because you can't put everything in one. But it it's um it's fine. You know this is more than enough. You really don't want to make your charts too messy to be honest. Stick with the the basics. And uh, the most valuable indicators, I would say. Now, one thing that can be a bit annoying with StockCharts.com is if you're drawing all your graphs and stuff, and um, you know, putting a bunch of details, uh, you would have to, I guess, screenshot it or something. Because if the second you exit out or refresh your page, you you lose um, all your work. Okay, so be careful with that. You don't want to be charting for hours and then lose everything. But um, yeah, a great trading platform, like I said. One of the lacking things, though, as well, is um, if you move back in the longer time frames, it, it gets a little bit messy, at least on the free version. I'm not sure how it is on the paid version. But um, uh, it's okay if you're not moving too far back. But if you put something like five years back, it's really not the best way to, to see what's going on uh, with the chart. Of course, here I have some indicators on uh, and stuff. But um, nonetheless, it's it, it does get a bit... Um, messy and it's not the prettiest thing and easiest thing to do your technical analysis on something like this right i would much rather um do it on something like yahoo finance but they don't have as much um actual charting like tools like um with the trend lines and, and markers and stuff uh as as stockcharts.com but otherwise and even like this sometimes i like to look at it you know it works it's just not the, the best way but um definitely this one is super solid as well and uh, and a must when it comes to, to trading with uh, using technical analysis. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. Uh, let me know what websites you use in the comment section below to, to draw your, your charts. And yeah, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more trading and investing videos. Thanks for watching.